the name of Jesus has been given all power and authority, and every knee will bow, but also everything that the name of Jesus has all authority over it all. And we have been given the tongues and been able given the ability to use the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus says, in his name they will cast out demons, in his name they will, they will heal, they will move mountains in his name. And what the Lord instructs us to do, what I've been doing, is you, in the name of Jesus, you can tell any unclean thing. Like if you notice, like the Lord will bring up a situation and then you've got jealousy in your heart and you didn't realize you thought you were good and you didn't realize it was there. And you're like, oh God, it's still a bit ugly. Or um, impatience in this, like me, sometimes they're very impatient with things. And what we do is we say, um, we tell that, that thing inside of us because we don't fight against our flesh, we're fighting against the spiritual things. So something spiritual going on inside of us and we say, um, I tell you, spirit of, we're in the name of Jesus, I tell you, spirit of jealousy, go in the name of Jesus and go to where the Father will send you. And because that spirit of jealousy, for example, would be in you, it escapes. And when it escapes, you might yawn, you might escape through an orifice, like a yawning, or you might um, laugh, or you might um, ask gas, or cough, or sneeze, but it's what because it it's ex exiting you. And you and you you know it because it'll come to you. Like you'll just be sitting there, even if you're like, okay, what house cleaning I can do? God, just show me something. And a word, would, the words would just come to you because He sees it. And you're, you're saying, surrender. What do I have? And He would just bring the words and you say it. And then you might be surprised at what comes. And then you will say what that in the name of Jesus, go spirit of pride over me. And then you might yawn really big, but it's like an uncontrollable yawn. And then after you do even just a few, you actually feel clean. And it's just because the power of Jesus is spoken to what was residing in you in the name of Jesus, you spoke it, commanded it to be, and it has to be obedient to that name. And then the Father in heaven will tell it where to go. And so I just encourage you, if there's still things in your character that you're like, ah, oh, it's just not budging, it's not going, maybe because you actually need to call in the name of Jesus to speak to that spirit, to call it to go, and it will, it will flee. Um, you can do it regularly, like every month or every week, whenever you feel a situation arises or something ugly, you do it and it might just flee out of you and you feel lighter, you feel more. I'm going to add something uh, deeper, but uh, then you're going to speak about it. There is other things which um, God showed me this yesterday or before. Um, there is things happen to us in our past. So we are tied with something which is not from God. Let's say people were fiancé, engaged. So that's a tie, you know, they call it soul tie. Probably people know about that word. Did you do sex with someone? This should be severed and cleaned. So like we spoke here about unclean spirits who are into your body that you're not aware of and you're not addressing, whatever. So Pastor Sam, name a few of them last time. Can you name them again, Pastor Sam? Last. Gluttony. Gluttony. What else? You get some good one. Greed. Jealousy. Envy. Envy. Right. So those are the hidden things, you know, but there is other things that are flesh. I was reading, you know, yesterday about something very interesting because all of us know that we are the temple of Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. This is very known. But the part which is one verse or two before, then he said that we are part of the body of Christ. And just stop me. I said, why is this one not as famous as we're the temple of the Holy Ghost? I don't know, but I think I'm the... And then he said something that a man, uh, he sleep with a whore or something, they are one flesh. And that scared me. But if you're linked with the Lord, you're one spirit. So some of us in their past life, they've been... Then this physical sin, either in them, either by their desire or by their consent or without their consent, who knows? I don't know. Everyone has an experience. So today, you cut those ones. The prophecy word came that the chains will be broken and you will get out of this room free today. <clears throat> so we're going to give a few minutes to every soul to go in front of God and get the Holy Spirit search you. 
It's not like, ah, oh, the, the psychology things go to your whatever and ah, oh, in your childhood and whatever and we get crazy about our parents. No, it's not like that. Whatever the Holy Spirit will show you, show you a man, show you a woman, show you a child, show you whatever you did. Today, God want to sever, you want to clean. He want to cut this evil relationship because you were united with one flesh. This is not joke. So it's not only the, the demonic that uh, our brother here talk about it. And after I finish, I'm going to say my experience of in the morning, you know, but I don't want it on the internet. So that was very, 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 um, very, I don't know, no adjective for me. But anyway, so we today going to close our eyes. Pastor Sam, you want to pray for this? Yeah. Who want to pray for this? I pray for this. And then I just, uh, it's interesting because when I was, not interesting the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, I feel like God really wants to do this in this moment because even when I was writing the message, just, not I was, I was just hearing the voice of God, what I was going to share with you later. He said at the end to, for us just to be silent upon Him and He's going to bring things to us. So the fact that she didn't even know that, that's what I was going to do when the Spirit just told her to, is leading to do that. I think this is a very, um, I just want to encourage you just to be involved because it's really, he's going to do something today. So think whatever the Holy Spirit only drop in your, <clears throat> in your head. And if it was your fault, say sorry, Lord. If you have been victim, which many <clears throat> of us can be victim, say I forgive and you name that person who uh, did that sexual things on you. Even if it's a relationship between husband and wife, unconsented or whatever, I don't know. If it was a relationship which you're not honored to that everyone know about it, everything, even if for one time, today you want to be free. Today, the Lord wants to break all those shame and you get set free. So I don't know. I'm not going to say that and you get disgusted, but this is bestialism even in the Bible. If anything happened to you or you did because you have hormones on you, sorry is good enough for the Lord. You'll be free. Sorry is and, and free the spirit of whatever. And you, you call that name, in the name of Jesus, I forgive you, or I am free of that sin that you did on me. And that relationship, in the name of Jesus, is severed by the Holy Spirit right now. Amen. It has no effect on you into your future. It's done, it's buried here in this room as we speak right now. So, Father, I pray that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we come before you because we're sinner, but we have the blood of Jesus. The powerful blood of Jesus. We think about it. And so only the blood of Jesus who can set us free. Jesus, you died, so we will be free of all those flesh bondage. All of them, Lord. You remember that event and that event, Holy Spirit. And because you, Holy Spirit, remember it. You're going to cleanse me right now of that event. And that one too, Lord. And that one. Just let the Holy Spirit in a moment of silence now to cleanse you from all your sexual immorality because the word of God says among you there is sexual immorality. Yeah. Maybe it's not now, maybe into your past. Thank you, Lord. But as the Lord showing you, you know, put the light on this, we're going to break free. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're going to break free. Yes, Lord. Spirit we're of be morality. Free. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. If we confess our yeah. sins. Yeah. Uh, I, I, what comes to me? Lots of bad um, It's just getting worse and worse. <clears throat> There's generational sexual abuse. Yes, even and those I ones. I don't know yeah. how that works, but I know it's true. Yeah. And it, it's, you know, uh, I guess what I'm, I'm still working on the two different scriptures where in one the Lord says that he will visit the sins of the fathers to the third and fourth generation. Amen. But then there comes a time when he says he will um, punish basically each person for their own sin. Yes. So it makes you wonder whether there is an accumulative um, possibility where I know in my case I had to break things because my father was a soldier 
and he had to kill people. people. Sure. So that but sense. it's not that soldiers want to do it. No. But they do it to protect the country. Sure. But you know, there's still a curse of murder comes on the family. Yes. And so I was brought up with guns and motorbikes, you know, and I still sometimes think this stalker, this man who has a big problem in his life, who confesses that, this is how my face, who confesses that he started smoking dope at 10 years of age. So then I'm thinking, what happened to him? Yeah. So I've been trying to be compassionate. But if I wasn't a Christian, he has done such dreadful things to every person there. But me in particular, three o'clock in the morning, a tenant catches him outside across from my unit. Oh, I can't sleep. You know, he's got a severe problem. He has been stalking me just a few days ago. I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I came home about 8.30 shopping and other things and there he is he comes up the steps at my station how did he know i was there and started swearing at me so i said hello girl i said we love you too you know but the thing is i've now had to barricade my unit everywhere because at other tenants he yes. has not only verbally abused every uh, female that's ever lived there, he has stolen from people. So I have to protect myself. But I'm thinking, what is it that this should happen to me? Is there some generational thing? And I'm seeing time after time that today, one in four boys are being sexually abused in their home. Usually one in four boys, and this is several years ago, and one in, sorry, one in four girls and one in seven boys. Yeah. And the, the, the board, of course, has just called people in detention who are seeking asylum have thousands of these um, pornographic, it's called child exploitation material on their phones that the government is giving them. You know, if America, if that Biden gets into power, I believe it will spill over to Australia because the woman that is his assistant the vice president, they are pretty sure she's going to take over. And I saw yesterday what she believes in, and I'm thinking, because it's not just America we need to pray for, it's the whole Western world. It's Amen. just going into decadence Amen. and abuse. And the, uh, since the COVID, 12 people in Melbourne have committed suicide when the lockdowns are on. The mental health problem, you know, we need to pray. And the worst two things... It's a big, things, it's a big it's Well, so let's, let's messy, focus on what we... Domestic yes. violence and sexual abuse in the home. So, <coughs> what you mean is so, we, don't, yes. we don't know what's happened in generations. Ah. So the quiet our spirit, the Holy Spirit might surprise you. I just do a, um, surrender it and say, but today we're just trying, before, we can pray for America because this is going to affect the whole world. But today, you know, this is a time of, we want to minister to ourselves. Yeah. To ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So Pastor Antoinette, she mentioned about something generational, something happened because of the sin of your father, grandfather or whatever. Of course, we do not know what they did, but she mentioned something where the bloodshed, you know, sexual, uh, Masonic, whatever, all those things that can be really affecting our life, we know knowing it. So we continue into that spirit of really searching your soul. Um, in the Psalm 139, can you please open it and read the first few verses? Search me, O Lord. This is time for us to search the, our hearts before we're going to get the 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139. 139.
No, 139. Search me, O Lord, and see if I something that you don't like and then change me. O Lord, اختبرني يا الله. Yeah. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Mm. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Too wonderful. As high, I cannot attain it. Yes. Where shall I go from your spirit? Where shall I go from your spirit? Today cry that flee? cry. Where I go, Lord? Where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed and show, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about, about me be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. No. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is light with you. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I fearfully, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your words, my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Oh, that I you awake, and I am still with you. I am awake, and I am still with you. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God, O men of blood. Depart from me. They speak against you with malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate the Lord? And do I not lose those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God. Search me, O God, heart. and know my heart. Try me. And Try know me. My Try me, Lord. And see if be any grievous way and lead me in the way everlasting. So this is a prayer. Can you repeat the last <laughs> and, uh, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Father, we pray that any curse coming from our father, grandfather, or generational Lord, you know our past. We break it by the power of the Lord, by the power of the blood of the Lamb. And we, we free, we free our family, we free our children, our sisters, siblings, our brother from the effect of this maldoing or wrongdoing of our parents, father. Daniel prayed that prayer and you heard him, father. So in today, we want to go free, Lord, of everything, every sexual things which we've done that doesn't praise your name. May your children be holy because you are holy, not because we don't do sin. We just fall as a children many times, but because you are holy, your children are holy. We have the DNA of you, Father. And because of that, we speak today, that while you searching our heart and, and exposing all the things which doesn't honor you, if even when we too young, Lord, to comprehend or to understand, Father, if it's done for us unjustly or we did it for others because we were ignorant of your word, we come in repentant heart today, Father, and want the cleansing blood of Jesus to come upon us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Misha, you speak your word, Pastor Sam, come and uh, have the message and from there. And sorry, but I desire that, you know, this part of, that is not really attempted in many places, that we break these things. 
because I'm quite sure that every one of us has something happen into his past. That's not, you're not too proud. You're not really going to sit in front of all the children of God and you'll be clear and everyone will know about you this. But if you dump it today, if today you cover it by the blood of Jesus, it's not going to be counted on you anymore. Yeah, so, just want to share the word God where it talks about what the, what the people of God look like, the ones that he's coming back for. And um, you know, like us as his children,